Farming is our way of life. We love what we do, and if you farm, you have to love what you do. We're thankful to have the opportunity to raise our children on the farm, to have God's creation right here in our backyard, and have the privilege to be His caretakers. When I'm on the farm, I like home manure a lot. I don't know, I just like making the pens nice and clean after they've been dirty, and I always enjoy running the skid loaders and the tractors and everything. I like being a farmer because we get to feed the world. We're a team, our whole family, we're a pack. We always stick together. But sometimes, every now and then, you need help. And that's where Hope House came in, and we're so grateful for them for that. With all the late nights and early mornings that farming requires you to put in, at times it can put a lot of stress on the family. Uh, Springtime planning, 6, 6.30 in the morning, usually till sometimes 10, 11 o'clock at night. I'll see him for a half hour, hour in the morning, and I won't see him until the next morning because he's combine and planning. I reached out to Hope House when Kenny, our oldest son, was struggling with anxiety and separation from Ray pulling long hours. Hope House, over the years, they've just done so much that I can never repay them for how much they've done. I like coming to Hope House because it's a good counseling place and I feel better after I come. Working with your spouse isn't always easy, so it's good to have another outlet and someone to talk to so that we can keep our marriage healthy. Something I would say to other farmers who are maybe struggling mentally or with the family, with the business, anything like that, ask for help. It's okay. Don't try and just be a tough guy or a tough girl. We know that there's a stigma out there as far as mental health and farming and reaching out for help. Previous generations didn't do that. and. It's something that we definitely want to do. We want our children to see that it's okay to reach out when needed. Don't be ashamed, don't be embarrassed, don't feel weak because you ask for help. We're just thankful for Hope House and how they're reaching out to the farming community and trying to get resources and going through extra training to work with agriculture. They have been such a wonderful, wonderful help to our family. I honestly don't know where Kenny uh, would be at this point if it wasn't for Hope House. Even though my dad's busy a lot, it makes sure that he lets us know that he loves us and he hasn't forgotten about us. I'm thankful that they have a better understanding of the hours that we have to put in now. There are ups and downs of farming, but the benefits of farming and the joys and the pleasures far outweigh the stresses and the downs. There are many difficult times and obstacles, but it's a life that we wouldn't trade for anything. We love raising our children here together and working together. Nicole and I have been married for 18 years, and we have two children, Kenny and Blake. My name is Ray Sean, and I'm an 11th generation farmer. Our family has been going to Hope House for seven years, and we would like to encourage others to reach out.